black and I'm proud. Say it loud, I'm 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 black and I'm proud. Yes, people, yes, people, the great sounds of Nesbeth, okay? Big, big shout out to him each and every time. And of course, he's joined us live and direct now. We're ready to talk to him, speak to him, and find out so much more, okay? So without further ado, please give a warm welcome to the great sounds of Nesbeth. How you doing? You good? Blessings, blessings. Blessings for real. It's an honor to speak to you, man. Ah, much love, man. Every time, every time. So, of course, you know, tell the listeners, first of all, who is Nesbeth, just in case they've never heard of you. Nesbeth is a um, reggae artist from Kingston, Jamaica. Yeah. And uh, maybe some people may hear songs and probably don't even know that I'm the one who do a few of these songs. Mm. So I'm just going to give you a brief rundown yeah. of some of the songs. Okay, I'm looking so forward, man. The one you, you play uh, My Dream and uh, my first popular song was in 2002, 2003. It's called So Let It Be. Yep. Otherwise known as I Love Her, She Loves Me, and the Golden Bath of Rhythm produced by Shocking Vibes. I love her. She loves me. I need her. She needs me. I hey. know together we can start a family. So let it be. Hey. I love her. <laughs> And then I move on to in 06. Me bodos bundung in a gang war wadir. No, me na have no way to stay. Me girl, when me did love so much and think she did love me, gone away. Me never save nothing, nothing me never save. As she me give the whole of me peace. All me left with is my Bible. In a me and a chant of Psalms. Each and every day, and that's called Borders and the Trumpet Rhythm. And in wow. 07, I did a song called Guns Out and the Rubber Dub Rhythm. Guns out this morning, Babylon coming again. Guns out this morning, Christian when will it end? Guns out this morning, the whole place under curfew. Guns out this morning, and that's in 07. And then in 08 and 09, I have songs like Another Drive By, Another You Try Die Again, Another Mother Cry Again, Another Drive By, and a song called I na buy no friend, I'll do friend the pencil, wholesale and retail. Friend, a bun friend like a spliff tail. That song is called Friend. Um, yeah, now nah, buying a friend. Yeah, friend for sale. That, call is, that song is called Friend for sale. And I did a, um, a couple more songs, but when it come down to 2014, I did a EP, a EP called Victory EP. With, uh, with about five songs on it. Yeah. And then I did, uh, in 2015, My Dream. And then, of course, you know, after My Dream, Success Story, Remove My Enemies. I am a success story. Yeah, success. A success story. I am a success story. Yeah, success. A success story. And Remove my enemy. I ask God to remove my enemies and close friends start to fall. I know every family, your relative can't trust nobody at all. Some of the worst fight when me ever get up from the same people will benefit from every hard work, from every sweat. Some me ask God guide my every step. 
And then after that, I have a song that I put out um, in about two months ago called um, Real. Yeah. So you think of everybody around you real? Who you think we sell you out cheap? Promise them a cup of NEC and a hundred G and you will see. So you think of everybody around you real? Who you think we sell you out cheap? Promise them a cup of NEC and a hundred G and you will see. And of course, you would have known that I am all over the world. Yeah. I I did I did a couple of shows in in the UK. I even performed in Brixton Academy. The last show I think I did in the UK was um, me and Jesse Royal and and uh, one of the Mali yeah. um, at 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 the O2. Okay. I don't remember what which of the O2, but I I performed. <laughs> Um, in London, a couple of different places in London, in Birmingham, in in Manchester, and and of course I perform throughout Europe, in America, throughout the Caribbean. Yeah, so that's just a little uh, rundown of you know where Nesbeth coming from and my accomplishment on the journey. So for a lot of listeners that probably listening right now, I do hope the the pick up on a song or two that kind of tell them, oh, it is him. Yeah. All right. Yeah, <laughs> me, see him. Wow. What, what a journey just through the songs, first of all. So respect for that every time. And, you know, for those who are locked in and listening, where does this passion for the music come from? Because you can hear it in every song that you do. So where does it come from? It comes from deeper than I can explain, you know. Yeah. I just like it goes deeper than I can explain. It 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 is the love that music has for me. For real. That brings forth these that this energy and this vibe couldn't have been the love I have for music only. Mm. But of course, you know, I grew up in Kingston, Jamaica, Kingston twelve. Yeah. And it's a music environment because um that's where Bob Marley. Um, get his recognition. Yeah. So, and and uh, many artists um came from the region. A whole lot of Alton Ellis and a whole lot of artists. So, I think it's a musical ground. So, for real. So I should even say where the music and the vibration probably coming from. I would then attach it to the ground, trench stone, the sacred ground. Yeah, for real. Respect. And of course, you know, I want to touch on the song Reflection of Love. Tell us something about that song. Reflection of Love was my first song. Okay. My first song and I recorded that song in 1993. Yeah. But of course, it's it's my first song, so it really never... It did a whole lot for me to tell me that, okay... I am good enough to be in the business, but it wasn't a song that is popularly known. Mm. It was from a new producer, a producer that was trying out the business. He was he was, he was trying at the moment, so it was me trying and him him trying. So that record didn't go too far. It's just a part of my history to say that that's my first record. Yeah, man, definitely, and you know. You mentioned earlier as well, So Let It Be. How did that come about, that single, and why did it happen? I, I was correcting my friend, because he was writing the rhythm. He was singing a song on the rhythm, and I was correcting it, telling him that that's not the whole way, that's not the way he's supposed to write the rhythm. Yeah. Like, groove on the rhythm. So I was just giving him a correction, and at that time, that song just came out. Wow. But of course, you know, it's a song of love, so it has to be deep within me for me to be trying to correct somebody. Yeah. And uh, some um, such song just come out. It never miraculously come out. It was something that was in me waiting on the opportunity at the time mm. to, to make it way out. And I think that was the time. Definitely. And then, you know... You met, or you could must have met him before, Flavor McGregor. How did that kind of come about? 
came about when I was in the street trying to find myself a producer, find a label to record, and and that's how I came across um, Favor McGregor. Okay. And it really started from there and record my first song for him. And that first song becomes my first hit, which is Board House. Yeah. Wow. Mm. It seems it seems like and it was move on to, to record guns out this morning for him as well. Yeah, wow. It seems like your journey was all meant to be. Well I can't say otherwise, you know. <laughs> for real, for real. Yeah. Definitely. Life in its own way, shape, or form was ordained to be what it is. For real. And you know, you mentioned a few names earlier, but who influences you? Who who do you look up to as an artist? Every artist influences me, especially the artist that is established and artist that are not established. Okay. Influence me because when I see artists that is established doing their stuff, especially on a positive part, I know that I can do it. I know I can reach to that level. Yeah. And, uh, and I've seen artists that is not established that have positive music singing to an they sometimes remind me of myself. So my inspiration comes not just from artists, but from people with positive energy. Yeah, definitely. And you know, you mentioned that you performed all around the world and you've done so many different festivals from like Bob Marley's Bash, Rebel Salute, and the list continues. But you know what? Do you ever get nervous to go on that stage? Lots of time. Okay. Lots of time, yeah. You have times when that does, and that's when time you you want to do. Like the more you 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 are growing, is the more you the less you want your fan to be disappointed. Yeah. And so sometimes that in its own way does comes with a certain anxiety, mm. and sometimes you have to just control yourself and just go and do it. Definitely. But sometimes you definitely love the fans and your fans growing with you and there are more people out there. Sometimes it's multiple artists on the show. So therefore you will have artists, um, you will have fans of other artists out there. So you are now in a position to not only please your fans, but to get the other fans, the other um, fans out there to be your fans as well are to get them to listen or to zoom in on you. Yeah. So all of them things that come put together is like bring forth a level of anxiety and sometimes that tends to push you on the edge. But um, being honest, because that's how it, it goes. We're, we're human. Yeah. And sometimes when you're placed in front of thousands of people, you're like, wow. For real. Uh, you just want to go out there and give, let them have an, a, a good time. You want to entertain, you want to educate, and you want to let them understand that we're, we're, we're family. Yeah, for real. Definitely. Yeah, so that's a whole lot. And, and in this business, you have people that... It goes without saying. It's a whole lot. So sometimes um, anxiety will push you to the point of getting nervous. But... Nevertheless, it's a journey, so yeah. you just have to do I played the song before you came on, My Dream. That that song went everywhere. Every time I turned on the radio, it was playing. What do you think it was about that particular song that so many people were feeling that vibe? I am still learning about that song, you know. Okay. The song goes deeper than words can explain. For real. I'm still learning about the song. The spiritual aspect to the song goes deeper than what words can use to describe it. And I don't think anyone is going to be able to to understand everything about that song in this life. Mm, for real. Just a mystical song, man. Yeah, I feel that, I feel that vibe, for real. You know, I want to talk about the, the album, A-M-E-N. Tell us something about that album. And how it came about. The album Amen, my dream is also on it, but the yeah. acronym is Anne Marie Elliot Nesbitt, and that's my, the name of my late wife. 
Wow. So Scarlet has been given in love and memory yeah. of her. Wow. And yeah, so there's fourteen there's fourteen tracks on the album. Yeah. Pretty good album. Album if you want an album to be a part of your collection. A timeless album. You know, you can select that album. Amen. Mm. Yeah. Definitely. You know, the reason why I brought that album up as well was because I love that album, first of all, so I just wanted to big you up on that album. And of course, you know, I know you mentioned your, your late wife and dealing with grief and so forth. And in these times now, people are dealing with grief so much, it's consistent. Is there any kind of thoughts or anything you could give people out there who are going through such tragic grief, you know, anything you can pass on to them? The one thing I can say to them is that do not take it too personal because the more personal you take it is the deeper you go in distress. Yeah. When I say don't take it, when I say don't take it personal, I'm not saying you must detach yourself from the family member. Yeah. Because so I don't think that's possible. For but I, when I said don't take it personal, I just want you to understand that the same way you lose a mom, a dad, a sister, a girlfriend, a friend, whoever it is, an uncle, yeah. is the same way somebody else lose a family member. Same way. So it's a cycle. It's not about whether or not, whether it's going to happen. Yeah. It's when it's going to happen and to whom. Yeah. So even now as we speak, somebody is taking their last breath. Mm. Somebody mom is dying. Somebody is um somebody's being shot. Yeah. Somebody is being locked up. Mm. Somebody's being chopped. Somebody is cooking. Somebody is celebrating a birthday. Yeah. Every bad thing you can think of is going on, right? As we speak. Mm. across the world and every good thing you're thinking of is going on as we speak across the world so you have to understand say when i said don't take it personal i don't want you to sit down thinking that you're the only one that lost a uncle yeah. or a aunt or aunt and you are not the first one either yeah i just do things so you have to understand that you're there because you're not here because you want to be here you're here because you're supposed to be here Mm. For real. Respect, man. So until you understand that, you will understand, say, yeah, it's okay to grieve, but don't grieve too deep that it take control of you. Yeah, for real. Respect for that, definitely. Some people grieve in a way that people ending up a grief for them. Mm. So grieve, but create a balance, have a balanced mind. Yeah, for real. Respect. Yeah. You know, of course, I want to send my condolences to you. I know it's happened a few years ago, but still, condolences sent to you, you know, for losing your wife and so forth. Um, you know, you sp- for real. And, you know, earlier you, you mentioned the great releases of the recent releases, Real, and, of course, as well, Blood Letter. How did those great projects come about? Well, Blood Letter... It's a song right now where kind of opened the mass eye. Blood Letter, mm-hmm. released on Black Friday, 27th of November, 2020. Yeah. So Blood Letter is more of an alarming song. It's a song where you need to listen. Mm-hmm. Everybody can take something from this song. Yeah. I specifically speak of my race because my race is my race. Mm-hmm. And you can feel, feel free to speak of your race as well. Yeah. So it is a song that has no racial barriers. Because mm. I have fans all across Definitely. the world, different races. So therefore, I don't believe in racism. Mm. So I said, Show, say it loud, I'm black and I'm proud. Say it loud, I'm black and I'm proud. Say it loud, I'm black and I'm proud. Say it loud, I'm black and I'm proud, yeah. Me loving my race doesn't make me a racist. So on that basis, if you love your race, then congratulations, there's no need for hatred. One love is amazing if reciprocated. It's so crazy how all this hatred 
I couldn't control what my shade is and I wouldn't change it now. I wouldn't change it. I wouldn't change a thing. I wouldn't change it now. In crimson ink I write to whom it may concern. If we continue to die, then we go let it burn. Tired of shaking sign, our voice is still not heard. Those written in blood are the only lessons blood. Oh, oh, blood are the only lessons learned. Oh, oh, blood are black and I'm proud and in fact I am loved and the fact that I'm chosen by God as opposed to those who oppose us, they nervous, they know that the moment is closer and yeah. None of our heroes have failed, those who have died are in jail. Because we were supposed to continue the purpose and that is the reason I'm here. So stop all the politics, level up. I won't go down for equality, decimal. Point is I know what my value is. Point is I know my pigment is significant. I'm not saying I'm better than anyone. The melanin in my skin is everything. That's still no reason for killing us. That's still no reason for killing us. In crimson ink I write to whom it may concern. If we continue to die, then we go let it burn. Start of shaking time, no voice is still not heard. Those written in blood are the only lessons learned. The blood letter, it's an entertainment soul label. The video, you get a chance to watch the video? Yeah, man. <laughs> that was a, it was a, to be honest with you, like, it brought tears to my eyes watching the video. It was deep, man. Oh, for real? Yeah, it was deep. I, I respect you for it, for real. Yeah, man. So, blood letter, I appeal to just about everyone that is listening. And everyone that is listening can tell a friend to tell a friend. Definitely. Check out Nesbet new song. It's two new songs I have out. At least I have three new songs out. I have Real and there's a video for Real as well. Yeah. And I have um King in King in the Deck. Yes. There's not a video out for that as yet. But Blood Letter. Blood Letter. Mm. Feel free to open this letter and learn about what is happening. Because at this time, in this life, the same way I'm going to tell you, same way I said that my dream of a spiritual aspect to it, Blood Letter is indeed a song of such as well. Definitely. Even me, myself, is still learning about Blood Letter. Definitely. So definitely. I appeal to everyone that is listening, go on YouTube. You can type in Nesbet Blood Letter and you watch that video. And also listen to the words of the song and leave a comment. For real, for real. You can either leave a comment on that on my Vivo channel or you can leave it on my Instagram, Nesbet Reggae. Mm. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So the song Blood Letter, it go beyond. Definitely. Deep and beyond, you know? Definitely. And of course, I'll be sharing that out. Um, is there any final thoughts for the listeners out there before we have to say goodbye for now? Well, um, I just want to encourage everyone to stay strong in this pandemic. Yeah. And there's a lot of life that has been lost and they blame pandemic. Mm. I just have to say it that way because... I am not there. I, I don't know anything about that as it relates to a doctor passing why the cause of death. But what has been published is that COVID has been the cause of many deaths. Mm. So my word to just about everyone that is listening now is to protect yourself in any way that you can possibly do. And in this trying time that people are losing their jobs, house and every earthly possession because yeah. there's people out here that is losing everything that has to do with earthly possession some people are losing their mind as well Definitely. so if you can be your brother's keeper mm -hmm. feel free to do so 
Yeah. If you're in a position that you can give an helping hand, feel free to do so. Yeah. Go and knock your neighbor's door. It might very well be the first time you're doing that. But believe you me, in this world where so... We're supposed to be socializing, but I think we're far from doing so. For real. So every man is for himself. Mm. And it makes life more uncomfortable. Yeah. So if you can knock on the neighbor door and ask them if they're okay, Mm. and share something with them. Yeah. Share something with them because you can afford to do so. Yeah. And even if you don't have anything to share, knock on their door. Ask them if they're okay. Mm. You know, as simple as that can make somebody day. Definitely. So, again, just stop thinking for yourself. Get up and try to see. Try, try to Mm. think for some else. Definitely. Because it will make the world a better place. And uh, glance your past, acknowledge your presence, and focus on your future. Mm. And of course, again, this is Nesbet from Kingston, Jamaica. And for the people out there that know of Nesbet and have been supporting Nesbet over the years, including yourself, Big I just want to lift my heart to you all because nothing that you have done um you it was your choice to do so and i am happy that i i i i continue to put forward songs that can give people hope Mm. inspirational songs and i'll continue to do so because i guess it's my mission definitely so i I want to bless up my kids then bless up everybody in the uk bless up shanika dapsa Bless up everyone that I've come across in the UK. People that I know and people that I just walk by or pass by or whatever it is. Yeah. We're all family, one big family. So continue to take care of yourself and stay safe and stay strong. And again, you can hit me up on my Instagram page, Nesbeth Reggae. And uh, my uh, number for booking is one eight seven six three nine six nine zero four one. So it's one eight seven six three nine six nine zero four one. And again, go check out Blood Letter. The title of the song is Blood Letter. Yeah. Go check it out. The video is there as well. Okay. So I definitely want the people to go and check it out definitely and you know what before we go i wanted to say thank you to you you know for taking the time out and i'm sure we'll speak again and i hope when you come to the uk we can link up yeah yeah man most definitely man family you know for real so dj cut let's continue do the good and go through give thanks bless up we'll speak again speak loud i'm black and i'm proud Say it loud, I'm black and I'm proud. Blood letter. Go check out that video now. Don't wait till later. DJ Cut. Thanks for having me on your program. And thanks for everything that you have done for Jamaica. Thanks for endorsing reggae music. Thanks for playing inspirational songs. Thank you for believing in such. So, Because you're a part of the journey. You're a part of the mission. And you're just doing what you are supposed to do. So in doing so, just stay strong, stay safe until we meet again. Definitely. All right? I think we, till we talk again. Definitely. So blood let blessings. Ble- blessings, respect, yeah? Keep safe as well. Bless up. Much love. Bless, bless. Yes, people, please do go and support Nesbeth. Okay, go and check out Blood Letter. I'm black and I'm proud. Say it loud, I'm black and I'm proud. Say it loud, I'm black and I'm proud.